many pet owners think they have the cutest dog or cat in the world? Of course. But what does it really take for your pet to be in the movies? Dr. Carol Ronka from the Northeast Cat and Dog Hospital talks about the characteristics of a professional pet actor. And we have Shadow here who's a little on the wild side he with the hair is. and all. But well, when you look at a puppy like this, it's like, oh my gosh, what a, what a dog for the movies. Adorable. What a dog for TV. But you know, it's not just a cute face that lands you in the, in the movies, is it? When it comes to dogs, they've got to be on task. They've got to look easy and cool, but they've got to sure. be paying attention to what's going on. So if you think you have a pet who might be a future movie star, there's a few things you want to work on. The first thing you need to do is training and more training and, and more training. training yes. Because you're your dog not only has to obey your voice commands, he's got to be able to obey your hand signals. Because remember, the trainer's off camera telling the dog what to do with their hands. Sure. And so the dog has to know hand signals. So lots of training. In order to train a dog, you've got to have a dog who's very strongly motivated for treats or, or for some type of a reward. Because he's going to get bored real fast unless sure. he wants that treat and wants that treat. So you need a dog who has a high desire to please and has a big food motivation. The other thing you want to think about is getting them out with lots of distractions because when you think about the set there's people banging and stuff going on and everything going on around and they've got to be cool as a cucumber and not be distracted or be nervous about sure. things like that so getting them out with lots of distractions is real uh, real important get a publicist believe it I or not know. It's like, an agent publicists and agents <laughs> that you can get for your pet yeah. that know where you can go to get that commercial where you can go to do different things with your pet and remember think about your pet's character shadow here he's a very unique looking dog Sure. But sometimes they're looking for the dog next door. So even though you may have a dog who isn't that great, we were talking about Benji. Benji, I'm like, mm -hmm. the, Benji, I hate to say it, not a whole lot to look at, but great personality. But great personality. Yeah. So de depending upon what the needs are for the specific reason, <laughs> certain dogs are going to fit the bill. So it's really important to think about that. And then, of course, there's special tricks you want to teach them. It's not just sit, stay, and come. A lot of dogs need special tricks. The high five, oh, the cuddling yeah. under the blankets, different things like that might be that one little adorable thing that's going to land your pet that part and make him a national star. But don't forget, we've got a lot of things you can do in your own backyard. Put videos on YouTube. Do lots oh, of things sure. like that. Get your pet out there because the more they're out there and people are looking, because you know how people can and pets can become an instant sensation on YouTube. Yep. It could be your pet next time. The the new dog, Justin Bieber. Hi, there you go. <laughs> the hair and all. The hair and all. <laughs> Perfect. If you have pet questions, you can email them to petpeas at wzzm13.com.